Let us now discuss an interesting example from one of the earlier SSC exams. Example number 11, the question is, if tan alpha is equal to n tan beta and sin alpha is equal to m sin beta, then cos square alpha equals to what? And the answer options, if you observe, are all in terms of m and n, right? m square by n square plus 1, m square by n square, m square minus 1 by n square minus 1. And last one here is m square plus 1 by n square plus 1. So let us see how do we get the correct answer for this question here. Now the first equation says tan alpha equals to n tan beta. So from this we can say tan alpha is equal to n by cot beta. Yes or no? Tan beta is 1 by cot beta. So tan alpha equals to n tan beta becomes tan alpha equals to n by cot beta. Or from this we can say cot beta is equal to n by tan alpha cot beta equals to n by tan alpha. Look at the second uh, equation here. Sin alpha equals to m sin beta. Sin alpha equals to m sin beta. But again, sin beta can be taken as 1 by cosecant beta. So that expression becomes uh, sin alpha equals to m by cosecant beta. Right? m by cosecant beta because sin beta can be taken as 1 by cosecant beta. And from this we can say cosecant beta will be equal to m by sin alpha m by sin alpha so we have got cot beta equals to n by tan alpha and cosecant beta equals to m by sin alpha now we have an identity in terms of cot and cosecant trigonometric ratios what is that cosecant square uh, theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 right so let's go ahead with that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta equals to 1 so we can say cosecant square beta minus cot square beta equals to 1 right whatever be the angle it should satisfy so for beta also it has to be correct so cosecant square beta minus cot square beta equals to 1 now what is cosecant beta m by sin alpha and what is cot beta n by tan alpha let's substitute here so what do we get cosecant square beta will become m by sin alpha whole square so m square by sin square alpha minus cot beta is n by tan alpha so cot square beta becomes n square by tan square alpha equals to 1 right now uh, let's uh, take tan alpha in terms of sin alpha by cos alpha right tan alpha is equal to sin alpha by cos alpha so what do we get this equation will be m square by sin square alpha minus n square cos square alpha by sin square alpha what is the point here tan square alpha has been taken as or tan alpha has been taken as sin alpha by cos alpha so sin alpha that cos alpha goes in the numerator right this is equal to 1 and if we go with the next step what is the denominator here sin square alpha so we can say m square minus n square cos square alpha by sin square alpha equals to 1 yes or no the denominator here is sin square alpha lcm is sin square alpha so we get m square minus n square cos square alpha equals to uh, by sin square alpha equals to 1 and from this m square minus n square cos square alpha equals to sin square alpha now if you look at the requirement we have to find out what is cos square alpha and all the answer options are in terms of m and n then the given expression equation we have cos square alpha we also have m and n terms but this an additional term sin square alpha so let's try to convert this in terms of cos square alpha how can this be done sin square alpha plus cos square alpha should be equal to 1 so from that we can say that sin square alpha equals to 1 minus cos square alpha so let us replace the sin square alpha with 1 minus cos square alpha so what do we get m squared minus n squared cos square alpha equals to sin square alpha can be taken as 1 minus cos square alpha now let let's take the terms uh, you know similar terms on one of the sides so we can say uh, you know 1 minus m square equals to cos square alpha minus n square cos square alpha cos square alpha minus n square cos square alpha equals to 1 minus m square Are able to follow cos square minus cos square alpha goes to the other side becomes plus cos square alpha minus n cos n square cos square alpha equals to 1 minus m square now if we take cos square alpha common here what do we get 1 minus n square equals to 1 by minus m square what is required cos square alpha what will be cos square alpha from this one 1 minus m square by 1 minus n square so final answer here will be cos square alpha equals to 1 minus m square by 1 minus n square right 
so 1 minus m square by 1 minus n square or you can you know uh, take it as m square minus 1 by n square minus 1 right multiplying both numerator and denominator by minus 1 so what happens we get m square minus 1 by n square minus 1 and which is option c in the given case so we can say the answer for this question should be option c m square minus 1 by n square minus 1 so that's how by following a regular method we can arrive at the required answer and then there may be different uh, ways of solving it right we have taken in terms of cosecant square beta minus cot square beta equals to 1 others may try using you know tan square beta or secant square beta minus tan square beta equals to 1 or some other trigonometric identity or trigonometric uh, formula to get the final answer however whatever method we follow we are going to end up wasting a lot of time as you have seen to arrive at the answer it would easily take about one minute in the exam and uh, you know this is because i am directly giving you the solution if you have to think about it we will end up wasting a lot more time so this clearly is not the best way to get the answer though we get the correct answer m square minus 1 by n square minus 1 this is not the right process right because we end up wasting a lot of time so let's avoid this now if we avoid this method then what's the smart way of getting the answer well as i mentioned earlier most of the questions from this topic can be answered using some angles in place of the given variables and check which of the answer options satisfy the given question so what we are going to do here is take some value for alpha and beta in both the equations and accordingly find out what is cos square alpha so we have avoided that regular procedure let us assume some values for alpha and beta let's say alpha is equal to 60 degrees and beta equals to 30 degrees you can take any value right i'm just going ahead with 60 degrees and 30 degrees now what do we do substitute these values of alpha and beta in the given question so we know that tan alpha equals to n tan beta so tan 60 degrees should be equal to n into tan 30 degrees right what is tan 60 root 3 and what is tan 30 1 by root 3 so this becomes n by root 3 so from this n is equal to root 3 into root 3 which is 3 so we have got n equals to 3 likewise let's substitute alpha equals to 60 and beta equals 30 in place of uh, this equation and find out what is m here right so what do we get sin 60 equals to m into sin 30 degrees right so what is sin 60 it is equal to root 3 by 2 and sin 30 is 1 by 2 so again 2 and 2 gets cancelled we can say m equals to root 3 so by assuming alpha equals to 60 and beta equals to 30 we have got n equals to 3 and n equals to root 3 now what do we do our requirement is cos square alpha let us find out what is cos square 60 because alpha equals to 60 degrees right we know that cos 60 is 1 by 2 so cos square 60 will be 1 by 4 which means our answer should be 1 by 4 numerical value of our answer has to be 1 by 4 now how do we check that see we already know what is n and m just substitute these values in the answer options whichever option gives us 1 by 4 can be taken as a correct answer let's try that let's substitute in the first option m square by n square plus 1 right option number 1 m square by n square plus 1 what is m square root 3 square is 3 n square plus 1 3 square 9 plus 1 10 3 by 10 is this our answer no we need 1 by 4 so this is wrong option number 1 cannot be the answer look at option 2 m square by n square what is m square root 3 square 3 n square n is equal to 3 n square will be 9 3 by 9 is 1 by 3 but what we need here is 1 by 4 so even this is not the correct answer option b is also ruled out let's look at option c m squared minus 1 by n squared minus 1 what do we get m square is 3 3 minus 1 by n square is 9 9 minus 1 3 minus 1 by 9 minus 1 is 2 by 8 which is 1 by 4 and that is what we have got using cos square 60 so 1 by 4 which is obtained from the third option has to be the correct answer so we can say option c is the correct answer here likewise if we substitute in option 4 we will find that this is wrong right 3 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 so 4 by 10 4 by 10 or 2 by 5 that cannot be the answer since we need 1 by 4 as the final answer hence we can say option c m square minus 1 by n square minus 1 is the correct answer so once again from example number 11 it is proved that the questions from trigonometry can generally be answered in two ways either a traditional method which involves lot of steps where we use different trigonometric and algebraic formulae and end up wasting a lot of time 
and the other smart method is to put some values in place of the given angles that is theta or alpha beta in this case and check which answer option satisfies the given conditions in the given question so be smart try to avoid the regular procedure and get the answers in a smart way